This is a uh, video demonstration of assembling a go hoist unit. This is just one hoist that we're assembling here in the uh, shop. And we're starting off by assembling the top cross beam section. We're taking the sh two shoulder sections and we're adding the cross beams to them. You can see we're just taking two females on one side and two males on the other side putting them into the uh, shoulder sections. The only way they'll go in with uh, the decal pointed outwards on the shoulder section and the uh, uh, holes, pinholes on the inside which we're putting in the pins right now locking pins. Now once we get these two cross beams in, actually four, two on each side, we're going to assemble them. You see we're taking the male part and putting it into the female, jiggling a little, get it to go in, and then putting our locking pins in once again. If the locking pins have a little trouble going in, it's just aligning the holes, twist the, the section pipe until they go in. And here we're moving on to the next. We're assembling the legs and the red sections are the top on both sides, two on each side. This is probably the easiest way for two guys to assemble, two people to assemble the unit, is to uh, each person grab the hoist lifted up and with the other hand insert the leg into the insert, shoulder insert here. Done that and now we're adding the pins. Once again Dennis there is twisting the leg until that pin, locking pin goes in. We'll go ahead and do the other side now. Once again each person taking a leg, lifting up and asserting, inserting that leg into the shoulder section adding the locking pins always make sure those locking pins uh, the dog leg is up so that that locking pin doesn't fall into the uh, middle of the leg or pipe and become stuck so you always put that uh, locking pin with the dog leg up pointed up and then insert it. Here we are coming, putting the midsections in. Now, the winch, read the decal uh, there. We're going to point to it here in a moment. But uh, read the decal to see which side they go on. This one says, put it on the right. Always with the winch in and the handle out. Put it on the right side. So there I pointed my right hand out. And that's the side we're going to stick it on. Once again, each person takes a leg section in one hand, on the other hand they lift up, go low and lift and insert that into the next section. So again, twisting around a little so that lines up correctly and slides in and the locking pinholes are aligned, putting in the pins. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to spool out the rigging on the winch because we want to attach this to the top shoulder section before we completely assemble the hoist. Otherwise it'll be 11 feet in the air and we won't be able to reach it. So right now what we're doing is putting the clevis hooks on the shoulder section and we're even going to bring it down more because once again if we put it in too high uh, completely assemble the hoist those will be too high so we're going to put the other mid leg sections on now 
once again read the decal for the winch that's going to go on the right side opposing since we're on the other side here with the handle facing out we're going to grab low lift high make sure those next leg sections are lined up and they'll slide right in if they don't slide in you've got them crooked just a little and we're going to insert the locking pins Dennis is lining up the holes there and now the pin goes right in once again we're going to unspool the rigging on our auto brake winch and attach the rigging to the top shoulder section the end uh, the end clevis hook usually blue will go on the inside and the clevis hook closest to the winch on the rigging will go on the outside uh, make sure you go ahead and clip those on correctly that way we won't get our wire crossing itself you see we're pulling down that clevis hook even more because once again we put in the bottom leg and we're showing there that we want that eye bolt on the inside put the eye bolt on the inside the nut on the outside that's for our tension chains once again lining up the holes and inserting the locking pins I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side here we're gonna position the winch the hoist here and and that's a good point to show that always drag when you want to move the the hoist which you obviously can do you need to do to line up on the boat always drag it do not push the back leg drag the front leg to wherever you're going I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom leg on here go low lift high Does get a little heavy at this point, especially the five-ton hoist. Those winches are pretty heavy, and there's a, uh, more steel on the cross beams, so that does get to be a heavy unit. Three guys is great, but as you can see here, two uh, well-aged gentlemen can assemble the the five-ton with just two people. Okay, so we've got this assembled except for one last item we want to put on the tension chains absolutely positively important to do we're going to once again bring down the rigging just a little so now we're going to get the tension chain that goes on the bottom and we absolutely positively must have the tension chains on before we load, uh, put a load on the hoist, uh, that keeps the legs from spreading. I think what we're doing over here is uh, turning, we had one of the eye bolts faced outward instead of inward, so we just took the locking pin out, we rotated the bottom of the leg, got the eye bolt on the inside, reasserted the locking pin so here's the chains uh, very easy uh, to connect uh, we're just going to undo the quick link on each of the four corners attach it to that eye bolt on the bottom of the leg make sure you completely uh, tighten those 
quick links. Uh, you don't have to tighten them with a bolt, uh, just hand tight is fine, but what you want to do is get all the threads uh, completed on the quick link. That, that gives it complete strength. If you just put a couple turns on it and grab a couple threads, uh, it's not going to have its full strength. And what we saw there is when we're putting on the last corners, the, the final two corners or the final corners, we may have to, to pull the legs in. Uh, they may be spread it out a little. So just if it doesn't quite fit, you can see I'm just pulling that chain there to get it to get around that eye bolt. And i am got it on the eye bolt, tightening up that quick link. Once again, just pull the legs inward till they fit, and then we're going to pull them outward. Uh, what we want to do is make sure those legs are straight. They're not splayed out, or sorry, bent out or bent in, that those legs are straight. And so that's all we're doing is positioning those legs uh, so that they are, once again, uh, not bowed in or bowed out. They will, obviously, 12 and a half degrees uh, out and to the side. So there we go, we're assembled.